Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 27. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's video. Race number three of the Supercar Championship. <laughs> We got 3.6 miles for three laps. So this is much, much shorter than the other one. And in fact, I feel like I recognize this place. And if it's where I think it is, this is exciting times. And by the looks of it, it is the Ohio Way Raceway. This is awesome. So this is a race on a racetrack. Um, I don't know if it's the exact same one, the one in the south. I think this might be the south map. But uh, I know there's quite a few racetracks in this game. But uh, this is one of the only... Like, there's not many racetracks in this game. But uh, we finally got to the racetrack. Which is sick. I was looking forward to this, actually, big time. This racetrack has a very long straight as well, somewhere, that uh, you can get a huge amount of speed. I think it's this one, yeah. You get a lot of speed down here. You've obviously got the uh, center complex, and then there's a massive braking zone towards the end. From what I remember. Jeez, it goes a long way round. It's slowing down big time for this corner here. Nice. Brilliant. Right, here's the final checkpoint and the main straight of the circuit. Uh, I don't know why there's road markings there, to be honest. To be perfectly honest. But uh, there is. No! It's gone off. Very nice. Nice, this is looking really good so far. Come on, come on, come on. This is the long straight where we uh, mostly test out the top speed. Around the corner is very good. Nice. Come on, come on. Perfect. Right, so we have one more lap left to go of this racetrack. I would like to see the other racetracks because I know there's definitely the oval track. Uh, not oval track, circle track. It's a ring and it's really good for top speed. But uh, I would love to see that track. Honolulu Airport. This is not an airport. This is a racetrack. There's a difference. Oh, 
awesome. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Supercars 4 has been unlocked. That was just under 5 minutes for 3 laps of that circuit. Amazing. It's time for the next track. See how well this one goes. Hopefully, it will be good. But this is now 3.2 miles for 5 laps. This is going to be quite a long race. Um, but hopefully it's straight like the uh, first race that we did. Mostly straights. Here we go. Let's go. We're starting over water. I don't think we've actually started a race over water yet. So, that's pretty cool. They are all red Paganis. Except one. It is the dawn of the red Pagani. Oi, watch it. Awesome. We're in Shafter now. Come on. I have a feeling this race is going to take a little bit longer. Maybe eight minutes or so. Maybe seven, seven or eight, somewhere around there. We'll see after this first lap. Awesome. Going through the underpass there and across the start finish line. One minute 20. Okay. So that is about 6 minutes 40 seconds, about 6.30 it will take us to finish. Pretty cool. Nice. This is just pure top speed for these races. Top speed and if your car can go round corners at high speed. Nice. We're at 1.1 million master points now. It's going to be awesome to see exactly how much completion we've done. Oh, and uh, I have found out, after doing a bit of research, you need to own every single house in the game to have 100% completion. But, we do have a saviour there. Um, if you finish one of the championships, I think it's the one with the super long race, um, you actually get every single house in the game anyways. So... I mean, that will help us to get that 100%. Uh, but I also read on the forum you can't sell any of the houses or your completion goes down as well. So, um, hopefully the houses we sold we get for free again. Otherwise, we'll have to buy them again. Ow! That really hurt my back. <laughs> Ow! Oh! Okay. Not great. Perfect. 
Very nice. This is the third lap nearly done. We'll have to, uh, two more to do. Come on, more speed. We need more speed. Look how stunning this car looks. It's a beauty. We even turned the lights on. Look at that. Fancy. Right, here we go. Round the hairpin. Perfect. Come on, we got this. We're miles ahead of them. They've only just started their fourth lap and we're like back at the river already. Third place hasn't even started lap number four. Impressive. Right, slow down, slow down, slow, 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 slow. Oh, overshot the corner. Didn't slow down early enough. Nice. Come on, we got this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good. Let's do it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, cool. Whoa. All right. That was really good cornering skills there. This Zonda is going to be put through its paces soon, though. With, it, with the 100-mile race. I think we're going to be doing it in this. Oh, we might do it in the Chrysler. It depends. We'll see. But uh, we'll definitely be buying a Mercedes as well. We're going to drive the SLR a couple of times. you got to drive the SLR in this game. It's a beautiful car. If you don't drive the SLR, you're committing war crimes. Or you may as well be committing war crimes. Very good. Look at this. It's quite a long car, actually. Though that might be the uh, PS2 stretching. I think it might be that. But there we go. Cross the line. Supercars 5 has been unlocked. Let's get on with it, then. Let's just finish this off. And then I can go lie down and sleep. <laughs> right. Supercars 5. We've got five laps. 3.4 miles, and this is going to unlock us the Chrysler. The 1 million credit car. That is quite expensive for a car in a game. But let's do it. I really want, like, long races in a solar crowd. TDU Solar Crown. There needs to be the long races. Like, short races to start off with. Two mile races. Then as we get up to, like, level D, if they do it in the same format as this, um, or something similar to this, as you get higher up, faster cars, longer races, no matter what. And then when you start getting to the professional ones, they're like 20 miles minimum per race. Proper long races. And then even the mega race around the entire map. There's so much potential. And if you can make a custom route maker as well, oh my gosh, the community will go crazy. If they have custom routes as well, oh my gosh, the community would love them. And they could do it. They could totally do it. They have the potential. Okay. Here we go. First lap has been completed. Nice. 
onto lap number two. That took a minute and a half, so I think this is going to take about seven minutes for this race. A little bit longer than the uh, last race, but should be fine. The fact that the PlayStation doesn't even get warm, it gets a tiny bit warm when you're playing these games. I've been playing for four hours, maybe three hours. I don't know. I lost count of time. Oh, big crash there. Probably four hours if I'm crashing now. But playing for this long, normally you'd expect a console to start heating up big time. It doesn't. And it's pretty impressive. This is really good though. I am going to have to order a AV2 um, HDMI converter. Because the uh, problem is I can't actually record PS1 games with the PS2. It plays them, but then it outputs in AV. So I need to buy a converter for AV as well. So I've got a component converter and then an AV converter. Nightmare, I know. Oh, spun out again. This track is unforgiving. There are so many speedy, like high speed corners. Trying to mess with us. We're not gonna let it. Not at all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I've done it again. There is so many other games I really want to play though. Um, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo 1, Gran Turismo 2. Ridge Racer. The original ones. So many games. A Ridge Racer 8 would be amazing though. Remastering all those tracks for 4K gameplay. They've got so much potential if they did do that. They would get so much money as well. I'd be buying that for the PS5, no problem. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Nice. We're now on to lap number four. We've got two more laps left to go. And then that's it done for today. Alright, slow it down a little bit more for that corner then. At the next intersection, turn left. To be fair, we could go... Ah, uh, We could go on the other side. On the right-hand side. I might try that next lap. See if that goes any better. Because we can technically go that way. Alright, slow down. Very nice. Not got far left to go. Come on. Ah, on the inside. Keep it going, keep it going. Let's get to this finish line. We're nearly done. One more lap. Ah. Woo. That was close. By the time we cross the finish line, we'll hit the six minute mark. So it'll be about seven and a half minutes total. And. No, we can't do it that way. Not really. I didn't realize that first checkpoint was uh, stuck to the left hand side. I went horribly wrong. Uh oh. Come on, let's get this done. Over and done with.
Nope. Ah, I keep going wide. There are weird breaking points on this track. Nice. Slow down, slow down, nice. Where's the finish? Come on. Slow down, slow down. There's the finish line. Come on. Just over seven minutes and 30 seconds. What's our final time? We got the Chrysler Mi 412. Awesome. And we got seven minutes, 33.376. That is awesome. Your itinerary is being recalculated. And that is me totally finished for today. Peace out. Right, so it is a new day. We are here in the Haiku Valley. We've got a... A uh, 1.5 mile journey to our first event of today's recording session and we are taking the Chrysler 412. Uh, this thing is sort of the overpowered car in test drive and you can see why. That's less than three seconds acceleration from 0 to 60. And an absolutely insane top speed. Whoa, that's crazy. The engine noise is a little bit meh. In fact, it's atrocious. It sounds disgusting. But this car makes up for it in the amount of speed that it has. Here we go. And of course, we got the cops on us. For drifting. Here we go. So we're at our first event called Tunnel. This is going to be a time trial. Um, I think after this one as well, we'll go and upgrade the car because we haven't upgraded it yet. Uh, 4.3 miles for 1 minute and 44 seconds. Let's go. Hopefully we can get near to finishing this game today. Um, obviously tomorrow I know we'll definitely start doing the super long races. But hopefully today we'll get most of the big race is done um, but yesterday's recording session with all the clubs uh, did 1% completion so I think it's only events that count towards progression um, so we are currently at 45% so it may actually take us a little bit longer than we expect to finish but I don't know yet oh not great not great what the hell was that okay Right, hopefully we don't crash this time. Let's uh, make sure we slow down for that corner. Again, this car is very quick, so you have to slow down way before you need to. But what this car lacks in cornering ability and handling more than makes up for on the straights. Look at that crazy speed. That's just out of this world. Sliding through the corners there. Nice. I have just noticed there's still one checkpoint event as well. Oh. It was very close. Based on the fact that we are going at over 120 miles an hour, we should be able to complete this within the time frame that we have. Come on, let's go, let's go. I see the finish. And it's airtime across the finish line. Let's take that 71,000 credits. Uh, as well, we have bought a couple of extra cars as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, because we needed to, to actually get this car because we ran out of storage. 
So we need to buy a car to sell cars. Bit of a <laughs> bit weird. We need to buy a car to sell cars to get a car. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what I should do? Is there a way? Yes, there is. Okay. So you can turn all the filters onto undone. So we're going to take a look at some of these races here. So we've got this one, which is called Freeway. Uh, it is a rookie event. So we're going to go straight up, complete this one. Obviously, we're doing all the ones that we have already been to today, first of all. Uh, based on the fact that this is rookie, I want to take the... I want to take the Alpha again. We haven't driven this in quite a while. So uh, let's go. Oh, you've got to be taking the piss. Those are Aston Martins. They're all C-Class vehicles. Wow. Okay. Definitely fair. Not. It's very good, though, so far. Let's get around the first corner as safe as possible. Get past the first two Aston Martins. In fact, there might have been three. Right, and onto the brakes. Oh, we did very well going around that corner. Awesome. I really do actually like driving this uh, Alfa Romeo. Sometimes it's nice to come back to slower cars. Um, sort of changes the pace of the game. Not everything needs to go slow and then meow, super fast. You can still come back down. Bring yourself back down to reality. And especially when you're driving something as insane as the 412, you don't want to be driving super fast all the time. That's really good. That's our first lap done. Aston Martin's on our tail, waiting for us to make a mistake. But as long as we don't give them the chance, we should be okay. Bum, 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 bum. I still can't believe it's episode 27 already. I've obviously finished editing all of the footage that I've had so far, as of last night, and this is probably episode 27, but that is crazy, the amount of content we've gotten out of this game, and we're only 50% done. Here we go, nice. At the next boom, boom, right. boom, 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 boom. Oh, here we go. Here's the finish line. Ta da! We win. First place. Awesome. So that is 10,000 credits there. Really good there. Your itinerary is being recalculated. Thank you very much. Right, next up. Where is our next event that has not been done yet that is blue? We got this one here, the uh, Tendril. Uh, so let's go do that one then. Where is it? Here we go. This is also E-Class, so we're going to be taking the Alfa Romeo again. I was going to buy a Ford Mustang, but uh, I can't be bothered. We can stick with the Alfa for now. Uh, so this is 5.4 miles for uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So let's do it. And we could get ourselves 23,000 credits as well. Here we go. Very nice. Makiki. Let's go. Here 
we go. Coming around the first corner. Very good there. Nearly hitting the wall as well. That's not ideal. And crashing into traffic cars. Get out of my way! Sorry, I was uh, multitasking there. Uh, checking my audio levels were alright. I always get paranoid um, whenever I record that my audio level messes up. Because sometimes my capture card doesn't turn the volume down when I want it to. So I press down and it doesn't go down and it sticks on max volume. And then I come back to check the footage and I've got four hours of footage that's at maximum volume. And it's just like, well, that's a couple of videos ruined. Um, but yes. I've had a lot of fun lately making some of these series, which is why I don't want to ruin any of them, because I know Gran Turismo 6, I think I had five or six videos that were at maximum volume that the capture card was just like, no, I want to ruin your series. So I've had one video so far where um, the mic's been a bit loud for this series. Uh, maybe two. But it's been fine. It's been okay. I do have like a deep love for this game though. Because it's just... I remember playing it so much. It's one of those games that you can't just let go of. Oh. That was pretty cool. It's one of those games that those memories will stay with you forever. Nice. Here we go. Across the line with eight seconds to spare. Awesome. Uh, and we've got 23,000 credits for that race. Awesome. We're going to have a look around and see on the map if we've got any more events that we can just fast travel to. By the looks of it, no we don't. We obviously have these events down here. Um, which I have a feeling we do have to redo. So I will redo those off camera after this recording session. Um, but next up is this one. It is called Streetscape. Uh, and it is a uh, speed camera. Bearing in mind it's not too far away, we might as well just drive there. Your itinerary is being recalculated. 2.1 miles. Okay, cool. Let's go. Your destination is two miles away. There's something super satisfying about this game as well. Just drive into every single location. It's unbelievable. Um But yeah, so these obviously the first few videos have been like very cut down, very race after race. Um, these videos are going to be probably a little bit longer because trying to get through each event um, it's going to take a little bit longer and there's going to be a lot less content to do um, because I am like going over and over again trying to do these races um, and I'm also doing all of the races except the ones of the II something Championship, um, mainly because those ones are the long races, and I want to keep them till the very final thing. So I want to make sure all the clubs are done, all everything is done first. What are you doing? Why are you coming in my lane? At the next intersection, turn left. Okay. Turn left. No, we can't turn left there. We turn left here. Okay. Nope. You don't turn left there either. You have reached your destination. Okay, streetscape. Let's do this. Oh, what was that? I think I broke my chair. Okay, so this is a A vehicle restriction. We're going to take the 412. And we got to hit a, a 200 miles an hour average speed. Wow. Okay, here we go. Chrysler, time to shine. And we're off. 
We only have one speed trap, so we need to hit 200 miles an hour by then. Eh, should be possible. Got to be very careful, though. Oh, no. Ah, oh, messed up big time. Yep, yeah, restart. I saw the truck, and I tried to move, and there was the blue car there, and there was no way of me recovering that at all. Not a chance. Alright, here we go. And we're off. Second attempt. Though that network of junctions and roads is just insane. The fact that this game can render that is impressive. And still look decent as well. You obviously get some racing games that are just like bleh at the moment. Oh, come on. That was close. Right. We'll ride 231 miles an hour. Wow. Wow. I'll take my 20,000 credits as well. Thank you very much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.